So this is my view, and just to um, put out there why I feel that Wing Chun is the greatest martial art, along with any other of its standards and beyond, if there is a beyond. Um, Aikido is pretty marvellous in my opinion. But um, as far as why it's the greatest, why, why, would, why would you say that rather than boxing, why is it not as great as boxing, why is boxing not better? Well, boxing can never be at the, st at the standard of martial arts in my opinion, even though it is considered a martial arts uh, a martial art, but most consider it not to be a, a true martial art and obvious reasoning, it does not inhabit the attributes of uh, an accolade and thought and of the uh, martial arts that is to say, quoting Bruce Lee Bruce Lee states that martial arts is in combative form the expression of the human being of the human body so meaning being a martial artist is not just being a fighter and in fact the standards of being a martial artist should be near or beyond Bruce Lee even though initially you would say on day one you're certainly not going to be able to achieve the uh, level of Bruce Lee or indeed beyond at any point um, most likely never but you can certainly work towards towards that and that is the idea to work towards um, what is the best that is to say your role models in any field should always be the best why, why would you look up to someone that is not great you're only lowering your own standards and where you want to be so um, if we bring Arnold into the conversation um, Arnold wanted to be the greatest bodybuilder in the world and that's what he said every day I assume you would have said this every day and he went to work he went to work five five hours a day uh, eight hours a day every day until until he got it and he won the um, I think he's the youngest champion the age of 16 and went on to be Mr. Olympia uh, seven times I believe seven times um, and so it's the idea to want to be the best and eventually you will get there although probably Arnold was quite immune to be such sizes um, doesn't matter if you train for 20 years you're probably not going to be as big as he was I don't know why he was so big at such a young age it was probably something to do with his um, genes and I believe his, uh, not his, his dad was in the army and he would have been, I believe, I don't know if he was in the army but I think he was around an army camp um, when he was young when he was young and he started to sort of train and became very big big in size and um, known around the camp and showed others sort of bodybuilding and how to physically be greater so um, that might have, uh, yeah, I'm not sure, but he, he must have been already, via DNA, much bigger than most people to be able to um, get to such a size at a young age. But um, aside from that, you should be able to technically come close um, to Arnold if, y if you wanted to. That is to say there's no point worshipping someone lower than Arnold, certainly. Um, and Bruce Lee as well in the martial arts world and so back to martial arts and why Wing Chun is the greatest um, which I might as well um, try justify that statement well first of all martial arts would um, you would inhabit being a doctor a scientist a human being um, I suppose you could be religious a lot of martial arts I, I assume are religious but um yeah I guess I wouldn't say they're atheists the ones that are not believers in such gods or religions but rather equalist equalism not atheism because no one has ever killed in the name of atheism or very few have certainly all the 
um, bad guys of our time that were atheists did not kill in the name of atheism um, but a lot of people do indeed kill in the name of said God so they're equalists and it's equalism I would like to raise that as their religion because us atheists have no sense of greed creed race anything um, it doesn't matter if you're black white yellow big small we are all the same and actually through physics and scientific methods you can find this out that that is actually indeed the case and so technically being gay is just as uh, natural therefore just as correct um, as being straight so there is no reasoning behind why you should hate one or the other and most atheists indeed um, are good to all therefore I believe atheists are more righteous than any religious person an infinite amount more than any religious person because we don't preach any bad doctrine we don't um, do bad in the name of God and it's justified in the name of God because it's said in the name of God we have morality and kindness and all of these things without any God so I don't know how you'd explain that if you say good only derives from God arrives from um, God and religion so that's clearly not the case but um, <coughs> where was I? I don't know where I was oh, phew. I've lost my train of thought well so um, yeah martial arts um, should be at the standard of Bruce Lee or at least you should be looking up towards that standard um, that is to say most people in say Japan and China are indeed maybe not as great as him but they definitely has that standard and working towards that standard with no ego with no with no hate with no none of this stuff that we have so popularly in the West and um, they do lead a life of help and healing and all these um, things and so really um, where was I? I've just lost myself again I can't remember what I was saying oh yes well uh, in the East they are certainly at the standard of Bruce Lee in terms of their um, you'd say spiritual but it's mental I'd say mental mentality their views they are kind and equal um, even if some are religious maybe they're the uh, Buddhists and the monks are Buddhists although they don't really worship a god as such it's more of a philosophy and again back to um, simply being um, an equalist if that is <laughs> a term that I can use it doesn't sound like it but um, it is indeed the case because um, I have all the good things from the Bible or any other religion and religious books um, without a god and I don't have any of the bad things that are said in there so surely by definition I'm already an infinite amount more righteous than you are because you say you believe in both the good and the bad because God says so um, so really um, Wing Chun martial art is the best in my opinion because it actually inhabits all of these things and the true nature of being a fighter which is not just if I said fight uh, to you now you'd picture anybody fighting really um, in the bar in the street drunk or otherwise does not make them a fighter a fighter ultimately in nature you would assume would mean capable of surviving therefore beating their opponent therefore being better than the opponent so there's some skill that already has to be there some level of skill that has to be there to therefore survive and so um, if you're not doing it in the name of survival of some kind um, or being completely true to it you are not really a fighter let alone a martial artist and um, Wing Chun does uh, have all of these things and does indeed come directly from self-defense therefore survival if you're in said cases so surely that is just a good uh, just an example as good as any an example just as good as any if not better because most sports are uh, most sorry fighting 
uh, most martial arts in the name of sport and back to fighting, most fighting is in the name of hate, anger um, clearly some sort of self-help, self-doubt, self-hate even um, lack of control of oneself clearly all of these reasons or why else would you go out to hurt someone it must be in the name of hurt and hate <laughs> or there'd be no reason for fighting of that kind anyway and most are as I said in sport uh, some martial arts are indeed still as its purest form of self-defense that being survival um, but martial, uh, not martial art, Wing Chun is martial art that is uh, Wing Chun Kung Fu from southern China about uh, developed 400 years ago or so is directly for self-defense and survival since it is um, created by a, a nun in the Shaolin temple and passed down to a woman, so two two uh, two of the creators, two of the first creators, are indeed women, um, and it is purely developed for defending against a bigger and stronger opponent. Therefore, it goes. It also um, coincides co uh, with science, with physics, with simple body mechanics. Therefore, it's also nature as well. So it's quite beautiful indeed. Um, <laughs> So, some of the, um, what was I going to say next? Oh God, how long have I been speaking for? I don't know, probably 10 or so minutes, I would assume. Um, just to let you in on sort of the concept of Wing Chun itself. As I said, it is self-defense, therefore survival ultimately. And it goes with your natural body reactions and body mechanics uh, for physics and nature itself. Uh, since physics is nature in the sense science is only our um, method of decoding nature, it doesn't go beyond it, it doesn't go against it it just goes with it um, that is why we believe there is only the material world, there is only the physics the only what we can explain physics is truth since it is nature and you can't really go above nature I would assume since nature is everything whether it be luck or natural selection or whatever is going on between the big bang and now but that is a different topic entirely. Um, it's said that, uh, well, it's not said that, it is that. Although, okay, yeah, it's, it's said that, that uh, I was going to say, the story um, of this nun that escaped from the um, temple in Shaolin that got burnt down um, by some um, bad people that were going there, which was, I believe, the uh, dynasty one of the dynasties uh, went to burn down the temple and all within it and there was uh, she was one of she was the five elders one of the five five elders that escaped um um noi uh, buddhist nun escaped from the temple uh, the creator of wing chun um the only uh, martial art that is created by a woman in fact as well he said the story is that the um she escaped and came across a crane and a snake fighting and this is where the um, idea for this martial art arrived from although we don't really know if that's going to be totally the case but we can I'm going to safely assume that that is the truth um, even if it's not the truth it is quite a nice story behind the origins of it anyway that being said it is indeed the snake uh, Animal Kung Fu and the Crane and both these also coincide with clear physics therefore uh, nature since they are a survival animal that is to say they might seem useless to us in some s respects all animals some animals might um, but they are all here with great survival instincts clearly since 99.9% .9 of everything that has ever been is died out and we are the only 0.1% left uh, while well that has developed and um, survived so we must have some sort of insight beyond any other animal that has ever been therefore it's already in our DNA to be quite superior in that sense so um, some of the concepts the crane concept is in fact to avoid any damage or chance of damage therefore this is indeed um, a part of the Wing Chun system the idea is never to get hit 